my lovers welcome to my channel and right now you're tuning into um, your weekly karmic read um, I was supposed to put it up on Monday or Sunday but I was trying to finish um, the mid-month August updates which are up on my patreon they're not gonna be on my main page and on my um, YouTube channel they are on my patreon page and you can access those and all my other bonus material all the extendeds everything else um, you can ac access that for a subscription of 5.55 per month that's one two the next time we go live is going to be Lionsgate the 888 the 8 why am I saying 888 so some of you might be seeing that number the 88 portal that is when we're gonna go live again we're gonna do slight healing session shine all light on the world and then I'm gonna do some free readings as usual I will start at 11 11 p.m. Eastern time and end at 12 12 a.m. okay so let's get into this <laughs> let's see who's coming forward to tell us about their karmic situation and this is going to have an extended version that you're going to get on my patreon page as well i'm going to put the link for my patreon page for those of you who want um your 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 sun sign or rather let's say astrological sign update but remember when you are watching these videos especially when it's for love you are going to watch your sun sign your moon sign your venus sign your rising and then also cross watch your other person's placements um, if you get triangulation that's how you know that you're getting the right message because you should see a synchronicity across all eight for you to know that you're getting the right, the right message all the time <clears throat> okay All right, so let's see who's coming forward to tell us about their karmic situation right now. Who's coming forward? Who's coming to dinner? <laughs> who's coming? Who's coming forward today? Okay, so priest in reverse. Wow, what's this about? Violates the trust of your spiritual community. Seduced by your spiritual goal. Seduced by your spiritual role so this is someone that was drunk on power and drunk on spiritual power or religious power so um uh archetype uh, archetypal um I example would be um for example priests those priests some priests that mol molest children that appeal pedophiles and molest children that would be one of those um pastors in a church who use their power to either extract funds um, insidiously from their congregation or maybe use their power to get um, sexual gifts that kind of sexual exchange these are what we're talking about or even um, people who say they're shaman or healers but they're not those shot those kind of charlatans this is what we're talking about someone who are using their spiritual gifts for the dark Wow who is that so they were using their spiritual gifts or even just their natural talents for the dark. Maybe they had the gift of gab and they were using that to manipulate. Okay. Let's see who this is now. An angel. Helping those in need with no expectation of return. So we have here that someone who is living in duality. So for the public, there would be this angel. Oh! just want to help full of the spirit whatever but in the dark they were really using these gifts for spiritual for their material gain whatever that material gain was wow who is this little narcissist here well i won't say narcissist but practices practiced narcissistic traits let's put that so it's a pretender right virgin in reverse <laughs> Uh, so we might even have a Virgo here. Um, fear of intimate union. Wow. So this is someone. Fear of intimacy. Fear of intimacy. I think this person has come through before, quite frankly. Fear of intimacy. 
intimacy scares them and it's all going back to their childhood so there's something there whether it was sexual abuse or whatever it is that had a serious effect on them maybe they felt betrayed by those who were closest to them betrayed by their parents whatever it is but they can never trust because what they learned during childhood is that when you trust people take advantage of you so people can only get so close maybe they can't kiss anyone they can fuck you they can have sex with you ask them for kisses ask them for hugs ask them to cuddle with you in the night they cannot cuddle ask them to hold your hand they cannot do it ask them to tell tell you that they love you they cannot do it and if they do it's nothing sincere because they will not allow themselves to feel that that's dangerous <laughs> that's dangerous they will not allow themselves to feel that are you crazy that's a threat. Simple things like that. That's a threat. They can't cuddle. Let's see, let's see what else about this. So who is this coming through here now? To tell you about their comics. We're going to take two more cards here. Oh, I told you this person had the gift of gab. I told you. Expresses soul insights in symbolic language. So it's, it's a poet. So this person, they can sing, they can write, um, they can speak. I told you this person had the gift of gab. I sensed it, bam, right from the beginning with that priest in reverse. Right? So this person had the gift of gab, but, but maybe what they were doing before is using it to manipulate. So maybe now they're bringing it and using it for the light. Or they could be, again, existing in duality. So they, they're using the gift of gab to manipulate, but also might have been using the gift of gab to also spread light as well. So there's a person, duality, duality, there's no integration of self. There is a dark and a light. There's no melding. There's no coming together. Their shadow side is something disassociated from them. So you, you would have been dealing with two di completely different persons. They didn't have integration of self. Two completely different persons. One an angel and then in the next time you see them, you, you think it's a demon you're dealing with. All right, I'm going to leave it right there with these last three. Oh, wow, last four. All right, judge. Balancing justice and compassion, managing the fair distribution of power. So this is someone who had an innate sense of justice. So it's not to say like they didn't know what they were doing was wrong. They knew. They knew, but it's like there was a constant battle between the angels and the demons inside this person. You understand? There's no integration of self. A constant battle. Liberator. Freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs. Releasing negative thought patterns. See, he's holding the light, holding the torch, torch bearer. What I'm getting right now, that these may have been some past energies, but this is what they're dealing with now. That they're freeing themselves from negative thought patterns that were affecting their life. That had such a great impact on their life and they didn't even recognize it. And I'm getting that also. The reason why I got eight cards is because this person is trying to get strength right now. They're kind of trying to get strength to free themselves from these negative thought patterns that have been packed to their life for so, so very long. Um, it, and it also caused them to go into um, dysfunctional or toxic relationships. Yeah, because they, they, it was, it, I told you, it's their inner child. They're wounded inner child. There's something serious that happened here that made this person so ungrounded, so distrusting. And I'm getting so much truth chills right now. Uh, it, you want to hate them, but it, you have to have compassion. You have to have compassion. This person has been through something incredibly horrible and traumatic. Okay. See, blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds, and it's, but it's true. Resist moving on through forgiveness. So this is someone that was unable to forgive whatever happened in their childhood. Unable to forgive self because they might have blamed themselves for what happened. Maybe they were abused and their abuser told them that whatever was happening was their fault. 
So they're, they're there with this toxic shame. And that's something I've meant to tell you guys to look up. A lot of you are dealing with people who have toxic shame. Go Google it. Go Google it. It's toxic shame. And that's why they had this massive ego to, to protect, to, you know, cover up all of that, that shame that, re that resided deep within them. And that shame was not even their fault, but they've carried it through and it affected their self image. It affected their relationships. They affected how, you know, um, they interacted in their work life. Everything was about their ego because they didn't want anybody to see the shame that they had inside. I want you to go read up on toxic shame and give me feedback. I'm telling you, for some of you, it is directly relevant. Not just for the person that you're dealing with, but also for yourself. And then it says here, bully, but the light aspect of it. Highlights your tendency to intimidate others. Helps you confront the fears that bully you. So I think this is what this person is doing right now. They're confronting their wounded child. They're confronting their self, themselves. They might even be... Speaking their truth because this is a blue card. This is about truth. This is about speaking the truth. They might even be speaking their truth to the person that abused them. Damn. This is also a message for me. I, you know, sometimes I tell you about what's going on with my personal journey. I tuned in. To my DM on the weekend and I usually look at um, all connecting chakra lights because I could see the ring and that's how I'm able to do those twin flame tunings to see if you are dealing with a real twin or not it's because I can see the twin flame ring so when I tune into a twin flame ring he did not have any light on in his heart chakra in his not his heart he had a little bulb there before, but he's increased the light. He didn't have any light on in his throat chakra before. But on Sunday, I told you guys before, I saw him in his emperor robe. I told you guys that. He had on an emperor robe. But he also had light on in his throat chakra. And that means that he spoke his truth to someone. I'm getting true chills. He spoke his truth to someone. I have no idea who it is. But now that I'm getting this bully, he spoke his truth to whoever was bullying him in his childhood and continued to bully him. This is a confirmation for me because I woke up this morning. I said, Spirit, I want to know who did he speak his truth to? And then I got this card. So this is a confirmation for me. So he spoke his truth to whoever has been bullying him since childhood to now. Oh my God. So this particular card is a message for me. And he might have even liberated himself. And that, that's just so beautiful. So yeah, so he has light on in his, his throat chakra. He was a stranger. He, he was a stranger to the truth. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest about your DM. I love him unconditionally, but he was a stranger to the truth. <laughs> Pathological liar, guys. I, I, I love him. All right, so this person that I'm channeling, your person, could be even be Metal King. Um, when they think about the karmic, they think about this karmic connection, what's the headspace like? What are they thinking? Ooh, they don't want this to progress any further. This is a king of wands in reverse. Guys, I'm gonna wipe the camera, okay? Because I'm realizing, yeah, yeah it's good. Uh, I don't even know if that helped. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Yes, it did. Yeah. Um, yeah. So they don't want this to progress. There's no passion here. There's nothing here, right? They don't want this to progress. So we're talking, this is fire signs, Leo Sagittarius, Aries here. So there's no passion in this karmic relationship. That passion died a long time ago. It's only been conflict conflict and i'm getting the word pain conflict and pain so they've been in a never-ending cycle of conflict and pain that they just wish to just free themselves from right now that's why we have this liberator card free themselves they might even be bullied have been bullied in that particular relationship but it's just conflict because this is two people in pain who came together two people in pain coming together can only produce all right guys naturally Naturally, you can't get anything good out of that. It can only be toxicity and pain. Um, 
And I don't think any of them were speaking their truth. They were just hiding behind ego. Because remember, if your DM has a massive ego, the karmic has a ma- even bigger ego than they do, right? Because remember, the karmic has to be an exaggerated version of who they are so that they can see themselves and confront themselves. Because unless they do that, they're just going to be continue to be blinded by the ego all the time. But when they see themselves in the flesh by a person in front of them, they cannot ignore it any longer. At some point, they're going to say, wait a minute, that feels like me. I have to look within and I have to change. That's the purpose of the karmic. The karmic is to show themselves their distorted version of themselves. You are the divine version of themselves. The karmic is the distorted version. Okay? What else is there's no this karmic cycle here? Um, they want this karmic cycle to end. But it's here, it's still in play. It's still in play. There is still a lesson that your person has to learn now the world they might have even met this person on the internet quite frankly um but right now their worlds apart they're not on the same page their worlds apart they might be in close proximity to each other but emotionally spiritually they are worlds apart but there's still lessons that they have to learn together your person might not even know how to close this karmic cycle they want to but how they have no idea so this is fixed signs, this is Taurus, this is Leo, this is Aquarius, this is Scorpio. And fixed signs, they know they don't budge. I know they got an ego. I can talk. I'm a Taurus. <laughs> I'm a Taurus. Guys, you know, we have, we have a big ego. We don't budge. We're very fixed. <laughs> we're very fixed. We think we're right. <laughs> what else are they thinking regarding the comic? Yeah, there's some kind of commitment here. There's some kind of commitment here that they don't think that they can get out of. Okay? We have to look at it. We have to face that. There's a commitment here, some kind of obligation here. Might even be a marriage. Might even be a marriage here that they don't think that they can get out of. So Leo Sagittarius, Aries, there. What else are they thinking about when they think about the comic? They're thinking about if there's any children involved they're thinking about these children but they're also thinking about giving this comic some kind of fiery message now fiery could be a message of love but with this conflict card here <laughs> and this king of wands in reverse i don't think it's that kind of fire <laughs> i'm sorry guys i don't think this is that kind of fire i think they have not been speaking their truth for this for a very long time and they're getting ready to speak their truth to that comic. And it ain't gonna be nice. Yeah. They're being defensive against the comic because I think even they even check in their coins where the comic is concerned. Because for some of them, the comic's been stealing their money. The comic has been affecting their money. Right? So they're there trying to figure out do I continue? To make this offer to the karmic or do i take my offer elsewhere i'm gonna pull some cards on this knight of pentacles so leo sagittarius aries energy here taurus Virgo, capricorn with these two i'm gonna pull that knight of pentacles cards on that knight of pentacles yeah they're still here um making the effort in this relationship they're still here making the effort because I think they've invested a lot. I'm going to see why this Knight of Pentacles and this Eight of Pentacles is here. So still given to this connection, but I think children are playing a serious role here. Because I'm seeing a little girl and a little boy. Alright, Knight of Pentacles here. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here, Spirit? What's that about? Yeah, the children trying to persevere and, and trying to make this thing work, even though there's no total, there's no wish fulfillment here. Or it could be that they're looking to um, have a breakup here, and they know they have to be strong to do that. 
Let me pull another card so I get a, a proper message for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's a decision that they're trying to make. Do they continue to give to this relationship or do they take the, do they take the other road? And that's where your person is at right now. And they want to be strong because they know that either decision that they make um, is going to require great strength. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? Oh, what I'm getting, they might be drowning themselves in work. Oh, crap. Or they may think that the karmic is just there for the money. Let me get a card on that. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict here with regards to money. They might even have a business together, so there's a lot of conflict because somebody, I told you, somebody's been sneaky. Somebody's been sneaky. I think somebody has been stealing from the DM. Somebody's been stealing from your person. The comic's been stealing. He's been sneaky. The comic's been stealing. So what's keeping them together at this point in time? Money. It's all about money and the fear of losing finances. Money and the fear of losing finances, guys. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. That's what's keeping them together. What's keeping them together? Family ties. And again, money. We got money here again. Guys, my battery's dying. So I'm thinking that that's also a message. That... This relationship is dying <laughs> on the last legs. One second. All right. I just gave it a little life there. <laughs> Somebody's trying to give it a little life. <laughs> yeah, it's all about money. It's about money and family ties. That's what's keeping them together. Money and family ties. Maybe there's pressure from the extended family for them to be together. Um, but it's all very grounded. It has nothing to do with the emotions. Yeah, it's all about money. Money, children. Money and children. That's what it's all about. And because people aren't speaking their truth. People are not being mature enough to speak their truth. It's as simple as that. Okay, so guys, I'm going to go over to the extended now. And what we're going to look at over there is how they feel as in heart space for the karmic. Then how the karmic feels about the DM, how the karmic feels about the DF or you. And what is a karmic hiding and then the outcome by the end of the month. So if you can't join me on Patreon, thank you guys so much for all your love, all your support. Please hit the le like button because that really helps my videos. Thank you so much. And I love you guys. Bye. So for 